Postman's just been. Got a new present. Okay. So, I've been waiting about a week for this. Just over a week, isn't it? From okay, order. Yeah. But when something's custom made. Absolutely. Oh, You can see it in the light. Yeah. <laughs> That's the new separator um, for our separating toilet that I have to make. Hello. So, uh, the next project I'm on with, um, or one of the next projects I'm on with, um, we're trying to do away with our portaloo. Um, we don't use it for number twos anyway, but um, yeah, just want something that's. Uh, a little bit more eco and we don't use water with it so we're going with a separating loom uh, which I've got to make we've got um, a separating part from trumpet and strop and we've dipped our old uh, toilet seat which is a little bit sparkly so that's what Karen wants that's what Karen gets doesn't always work that way <laughs> so it's gonna go under this side of the settee so that means I've got to demolish my previous work um, to an extent got to cut some of it out and then start making a slide out section for the toilet so uh, here goes Okay, so that's the front bar removed, that the uh, door was hinged upon, and um, that's where the toilet's going to live. So that's the two side beams made, and the um, Draw slides are screwed in place. Hi Hawk. Just got to cut a notch out of this end so it fits into the um, settee side better.
Okay, so uh, a little bit of wrangling later. I uh, managed to get the draw slides in place, everything fastened down, um, and the partial box, um, what's going to be the toilet, uh, is in place. I need to make a front for it um, and then make a lid and have a bit of fiddling around with the, the front panel um regards to the height it's going to come for the toilet but i'll work my head around that um, um we've decided what position the toilet's going to be at so it leaves us some space for uh sawdust and you know toilet bags and things like that so um hopefully we'll be able to crack on again tomorrow night it's a bit late for using the circular saw so i shall catch you in the next bit Oh, nearly forgot to show you. There's the uh, sliding mechanism. So that should be ample to get the toilet seat on. Slides back fully. Should be enough space there. Right, catch you tomorrow. Right, so we're in the garage now and um, I've just been making a front and a top for this box. Uh, it's quite a sturdy box but uh, I don't suppose you want it uh, collapsing as you uh, sit down for anything. Um, so what I've ended up with is a slight slope out to match the settee. I'm not sure I'm staying with that front piece, but we'll sort of see how it goes. And then the seat's going to be set off to one side, so we can actually have room for a couple of compartments there. Uh, sawdust and a scoop and some um, wet wipes of toilet roll or something like that. So I'm just going to mark inside the toilet seat. See where that's going to sit. We'll just make sure where that's going to sit. Okay. So the important part to uh, to cut out is where this is going to drop through. Really, just need to try and assess. Yeah, it's going to have to be a fair bit extra taken out so what I'll do is I'll draw around the separator once I get it squared up obviously the lip that's down there the cut needs to be just near to this edge so further in We've got the inside line which is the toilet seat and this line to cut and this is the outside So this is the front so far, and still using the original toggle. There's like a drop down panel now, which brings this front down to the height of the seat area. And then, that's the toilet. Now, this is one thing I'm packed on a slope at the moment, but um, I need to try and make a stop somehow um, so they don't just slide back when you sit on it uh, I've just been to see um, my mate Ian who uh, has supplied me with a couple of bait buckets um, with a cut out of the front of one of them uh, to allow for the, uh, the separator to sit uh, at the front of it then um, put a bag in there, sawdust, and there's our poo storage.
we now have a finger hole. Top surface of the toilet, currently being painted by my lovely wife Karen. Chief painter and decorator. Okay, so in no particular order, um, the parts for the separating toilet are the separator from uh, strumpet and trollop, and then we've got the toilet seat. Both of those have been siliconed to the top that I made. We've got a five litre container for the urine, uh, that's from Kildwick, uh, dot com. We've got a 17 litre tub, need some better bags for those but um, we shall sort those out soon. And that's come from from 8 Threshy, it's a fishing bait box. Uh, I also made a top from some of the spare timber from our wall. So that's to go above the sawdust container and there's the said sawdust. Just a couple of quid uh, from Home Bargains. And there's the box in place. Okay, now as you can see it's got the compartment for uh, sawdust. And then the bigger compartment takes the tub and the urine container. So let's have a look. Tight fit next to the cushion, but it's sort of in place. Obviously, needs um, cutting open. And the separator and everything goes on the top, and the top sits above that. There's a stop there. Hard to see in this light. That stops the whole thing from sliding back into the uh, under the bench. Just pushes down. Slides into place. And then this flap lifts up. Like so, clips into place using the original clip. And that's part of the city. So that's the 12 volt extractor fan in place. Uh, there's a bit of ply above it and that's purely to uh, take up the gap between the draw bottom and the floor of the van. So it will draw um, directly through from the drawer as opposed to the rest of the van. That's the idea. There's also a little micro switch 
um, so that when the door closes it will turn the fan on. Do have an isolating switch in there so when the uh, toilet isn't in use then um, I can take the power away from it so that we don't flatten the batteries just using the toilet sat. Okay so when this closes Small boat fan kicks in. Well done if you've made it to the end of this video. I got the separating toilet that we wanted in the space that we wanted. Um, non conventional space, so it took a bit of uh, to and fro with uh, some of the components. But um, yeah, we've got what we wanted in the end. So I hope it inspires somebody to uh, actually fit one of these toilets in. Um, if you don't feel you've got enough room for uh, a standard port loo size, you can actually still benefit from a separating uh, toilet. Okay, uh, till next time, take care folks.